Yeah, we're Gary and Jen, and we are in Florida on the Emerald Coast. So Jen's been bugging me for a while to take a vacation to Florida's Emerald Coast. She used to live here for a number of years and she refers to it as her happy place. So she wanted me to come see what it was all about. So this is my first time here, so we'll see if it's everything she says it is. So the Emerald Coast gets its name because of the emerald colored waters like you can see behind me. It's located on Florida's Panhandle and stretches between Pensacola and Panama City. With approximately 100 miles of beautiful white sugar sand beaches on the Gulf of Mexico. If you visit, you're likely to see military aircraft flying around. The Emerald Coast is home to several Air Force and Navy installations, such as Eglin Air Force Base, which is the largest Air Force base in the world, and Naval Air Station Pensacola, which is home of the Blue Angels Naval Flight Demonstration Squadron. It's really cool because you can watch the Blue Angels practice, and I was really looking forward to it. But the day I planned to go, it ended up getting canceled due to heavy fog in the area. If you're not into sitting on the beach, there are plenty of other things to do. There are great places to go shopping like Harbor Walk Village in Destin or the Boardwalk on Okaloosa Island. There are also water and fun parks as well as miniature golf. If you're into wildlife, you can check out the Gulf Area Marine Adventure Park or the Gulf Breeze Zoo. If you bring your boat, you can hang out with hundreds of others at Crab Island, which is a popular summertime spot in Destin. If you like to fish, there are charter fishing boats that will take you fishing in the Gulf of Mexico, or you can fish off of one of several fishing piers along the Emerald Coast. If you're more into history, then check out Fort Pickens near Pensacola Beach and learn how it helped protect the Pensacola Bay from invaders, was used by the Union Army during the Civil War, and held famous Native American Geronimo as a prisoner for a while. The Emerald Coast also has a huge number of amazing restaurants to eat at, as well as great places to have a drink. If you're into exercise or want to work off some of that good food and drink, try walking or cycling the Three Mile Bridge over Pensacola Bay. They have a pedestrian lane just for that. Personally, I just drove across it. But really, I can see why Jen loves it here so much. Even with everything there is to do, I think Navarre Beach's motto pretty much sums it up. Florida's most relaxing place. Whether it was just hanging out with her friends or just sitting on the beach and watching the waves crash along the shore, my week here was probably one of the most relaxing ones that I've had in a really long time. and I'm looking forward to doing it again soon. If you've ever been to Florida's Emerald Coast, let us know what you thought about it in the comments below. Thanks for checking out the video, and we'll see you on another adventure really soon.